Hello everyone, welcome to update number five to my project called Minis and Samples Project Pan. This is where I use um, those samples and minis that kind of, you know, you never exactly want to use because they're in like these little like one use packets and stuff that are hard to use. I don't know, I just hate those little sample packets. I do like minis, but I'm not a fan of sample packets. Anyways, um, I choose 10 samples every month and five minis every month, no matter what, if I finish them all, if I don't finish any, whatever. Um, okay, let's get started with the samples. So the first one was a perfume and it's from this brand called Purette. And it's called Scent of the Sea. I don't know where this came from. Uh, definitely like a free gift to purchase. Here it is. It's empty. I know it looks like there's a tiny bit there in the bottom. But I've turned this every which way and it won't spray out. So it was just a good salty light beachy scent. Not a huge fan honestly. I thought I would be but not really. Um... It said it has notes of fresh green coconut, surf wax, and sunscreen. Yeah, it smelled like that, but very light. That one's empty. Next was a foundation sample. This is from Tula. Um, I have now finished two of their sample ones. By the way, the darker shades or any shades that wouldn't work on me, I use them as like a concealer or a contour or something because um, someone suggested that to me that I can use it in different ways. And because I know you can't like donate just certain samples, you know, like I couldn't donate the ones that don't fit me because they all come in a sample pack. So I'm gonna find a way to use them because I don't wanna throw them away. Um, so I did finish one um, this month. So that one's rolling out. Next is this Bobbi Brown foundation thing. I have ripped it up to make it fit in my bag of samples it didn't fit when it was bigger so i ripped it up to make it fit and now i'm just so tired of this thing so i've used four out of the six the only two i need to use are these two i'm going to use these this month no matter what so that's going to be one of my roll-ins because this one's getting messy and stuff okay next is my um planet revolution sheet mask i think this was the last one i think i had five of these and they kept getting drawn out every month because it was so big but yeah if if this is my last one i'm so glad i'm done with these they weren't that great of sheet masks okay next is from estee lauder this was the revitalizing supreme youth power cream so it was a moisturizer um i squeezed it all out it's empty it was just okay that one was two uses though i remember Okay, next was from A Cure. This is the Vivacious Volume Shampoo, and I used this one to completion. This actually was pretty good. I don't know how much it cost, but it was pretty good. Next is also from A Cure. This was a face serum, though. I think it was for your face. I used it on my face. Yeah, this took a good four uses this had a ton of product in here like I kept squeezing it out and I hated it because it overflow in the package I was like wiping the package on my face anyways I'm glad it's done um next was a few things from Mary Kay first of all I wrote in this eyeshadow a couple months ago there was three of them I rolled it in. I finished one of them. This month I finished the other two. So it's empty now. There was like a purple, pink, and a brown. Um, and then next I had this. This is the only thing I didn't use, I think. Um, this is from Mary Kay. And this is a lipstick sample in Fuchsia. And I did not open it yet. So that will be rolling over to next month. And I've been working, I didn't roll this in last month, but I've been working on it for months. This is from Clay Depot. This is the refined lip liner thing. I have used up completely one of them. And then I rolled in this one down here called Cute Kiss. And these just actually do have a lot of product. And you have to get like a little like lipstick brush to use on them. But I will say this month I did also start working on um, Grenadine super pretty like um merlot color and then there's cute kiss i do have like 
pan in the bottom of it, if you can see, but it still has like probably four or five more uses. Um, and this one probably has like 10 uses, but yeah. And then I haven't opened Dahlia yet, but we'll see what I do this month. Hopefully I can at least finish Cute Kiss this month. Another big sample that I'd like to have out of here, but I will say they do look really pretty on the lips. And last but not least was the Sol de Janeiro Cocoa Cream I had in a little sample thing, and I lost that one. I don't know. I think I put it in a bag. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'll be rolling in 10 new things. So the fun part where I get to pick out of my bag. It's getting quite small. Um, we'll count this as one, so I have nine more to pull. I should probably count this Tula one as well, but we'll see how I'm feeling because a bunch of these are like perfume samples at the bottom so I'm feeling one of those okay this one's from Tom Ford this is rose prick so a rosy scent I can't smell it out of the thing but eh. Tom Ford scents are not really for me they're um very sometimes patchouli oud green scents which i'm not a huge fan of but let's see okay next is a foundation sample this is Too faced born this way foundation sample in the shade sand um it looks a little deep for me but we'll definitely make it work with like concealer or something next i feel another yeah clinique happy okay it's funny because at the beginning of this project, I would get a bunch of foundation samples. Now I think I'm going to end up with a bunch of perfume samples because they're so small. They just like sink to the bottom of the bag. Okay. Oh, another foundation sample from Tom Ford. There's only three left, as you can see. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. So that's another one I'll be using. This bag's almost empty, believe it or not. Okay, another perfume sample. This one's like a little thicker. This is actually a cologne. This is Tre de Hermes. And it's not full. So yeah, that'll be easy to finish. I have six so far. Seven is another foundation sample. This is Milani Conceal and Perfect. Okay in the shade light beige. Next. Um, okay, I pulled out, there was two stuck in this, so I'll pull out both of them. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Moisturizer. I've used one of these before. And this is um, Chance by Chanel. I've always wanted to try this one, so I'm super excited to roll it in. Ooh, Tendre. Okay, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, Tula for the last one. <laughs> yeah, because I'm really only feeling, I'm going to look now that it's, I've picked everything. It really looks like there's only a few Mary Kay eyeshadow things in the bottom, which are tiny little papers and like a ton of perfume samples. So running out of stuff for next update but that's okay look how small the bag is now it used to be full especially of foundation samples but we'll keep working on these i guess i should have included this in my 10 but we'll have 11 this month anyways um let's go over them for this month i'll be working on these clay de po lips um this tula foundation skin tint thing this bobby brown foundation sample there's only two left last month i used two um this tom ford foundation thing milani conceal and perfect foundation Too faced born this way foundation <laughs> peter thomas roth moisturizer chance by chanel Clinique Happy, Hermes, Trey de Hermes, and Tom Ford Rose Prick. So, um, that's okay. I can get through these perfume samples in like a week. So, those don't bother me at all. The foundation samples are 
kind of getting annoying, but that's fine. Okay, now let's go over the five minis that I roll in. So for the five I had last month, number one, first of all, I finished three of the five, which is fun. I love finishing these minis. Georgette Klinger Coconut Cleansing Milk. I finished that one easy. I had been almost done with it for so long. So I'm glad to have this one out. Um, next is from Hallie. Um, Fluffy G Foamy Glazy Hair Gloss in Colorless Shine. So you're supposed to use this whole tube in one treatment. I did. It didn't seem to do much. Also, you're supposed to leave it. on your hair for like 10 minutes. I think I did that, but yeah, didn't do much that I noticed, but it's gone. Next is from Vanilla Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. Um, this was the nourishing one. That's why it's in the yellow packaging and it was empty. I like these little vanilla things. I know there's at least one more in um, the bag. Uh, next is the one size. I love getting these mini translucent setting powders in here. Um, this was the one size translucent powder and it's so good. It really is. Um, and there's less than half left. It's like down to here. So it's not empty, but I could easily use that up. Okay, next is, and lastly for the Sam Minis, is from Fenty Beauty. This was the Gloss Balm Heat. So it's her plumping lip gloss in the color Hot Cherry. And this actually is super pretty. Like, it has this, like, hot pinkish red gloss to it. And it's, like, about right there. And I can't believe how much progress I made because I only used it about 10 times. So I could use this, like, another 15, 20 times and it'd be empty. But I won't do that right now because we've got five new things rolling in. My minis bag is much bigger because once I use some minis, I just put more in. I always have minis. So five new ones. First of all, okay, a lip product. This is from Ulta Beauty. It's the matte lip cream. Uh, no shade name. It looks like there's windowing in there, so I'm not sure how much I've used it before, but we'll see how much use I get on a matte lip cream in the summer. Probably not much. <laughs> Okay, next. Oh, good. Uh, face mask. I've been wanting to put a face mask in here because I want to get rid of them from my collection. This is from Herbivore. This is the Aquarius Pore Purifying Clarity Cream. Wait. I thought this was a mask. Maybe it's a, cr a cream. I don't know. It has no scent to it. Also... Okay, no, it's not a face mask. It's a moisturizer. It says apply to skin in the AM and PM cream. Okay, I did need another moisturizer, so that's totally fine. I'm trying to reach to the bottom. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can do this one. This is from Believe. This is an eye moisturizer. And I have a moisturizer I'm really, really, really trying to work on, so I'm not going to use that one. And this project's just for fun, so usually I don't do that, but I have to, I feel like. Okay, next <coughs> is a hair product. This is from Balayage. This is the All-in-One Multi-Benefit Spray, Detangle, Condition, and Prime. Okay, this is just a little mini. I could probably finish this this month as like a... Um, hair like conditioner detangler thing. Okay. Two more. This is my favorite part is picking the minis. Oh, okay. I did. I said I had another one of these little vanilla ones in here. I do. This is the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm and the Revitalizing one. And yeah, brand new. So that's fun. I'm actually really excited to have this one in. One more pull. Let's do this one. Oh, this is a good one for summer. It's another makeup product. This is the Flawless Complexion Tinted SPF Moisturizer slash Foundation from COTS. SPF 50, that's really nice. Um, I know it's tinted, so hopefully it will match me. 
but there's that one. Okay, cool. So I got um, two skincare, one hair care, and two makeup products. That's like a really good assortment. Usually I get like a bunch of hair care or I get a bunch of skincare or all makeup. It's always different. Okay. Yay. I did so good this month, I feel like. Okay. I'm super excited about my picks. So for the minis, let's go over. I have the balayage hair stuff, the ba vanilla cl clean it zero, the herbivore Aquarius moisturizer, and the Cots tinted foundation and the Ulta matte lip cream. That's all I have for this month. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next month to pull more stuff. Bye.